Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the Chrysler section of the Illinois Pick and Pull in Summit, Illinois. And what's a better car to start us off with than 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser? These things are famous, you know, for getting a lot of crap. Uh, as far as, you know, how they were looking, how they were unreliable, but you know, <laughs> they were popular. You can call them a lot of different things, but a lot of people bought them and a lot of people loved them too and yes there was some percentage of them that probably failed but after all they were fun cars and i drove plenty of them so we're gonna check to see what do we have today at the chrysler section and of course the most common one that i would like to associate myself with would be the chrysler 300 that it's still around it's still looking really bossy i always love the interior although it is kind of cheap looking and got a lot of plastic and blah 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 but i always love these gauges i love the steering wheels this particular one be, being an 05 from the base model i think although no 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 it's the one above the base because you got the the leather although it's a very crappy yeah the chrysler 300 is probably heavy to my my uh, favorite one now i am here with the sock monkey and he is filming this and i will be going over to that car that concord as well but we're definitely trying not to interfere with each other's filming so i'm gonna i'm gonna venture out this way see lots of peachy cruisers lots and lots okay well here's a 300 limited for us i'm gonna try not to forget this toolkit here there we go. Ooh. <laughs> I like how they spruced it up a little with some wood bits and pieces here, but obviously a lot of this chrome and wood is all cracking and coming apart. And oh wow, look at this, somebody took the controls out. Yep. I don't know if I'm taking this or not, but might as well, right? Although it might be just free spinning. I don't know if I'm actually unscrewing it because it's not becoming any lighter all right i guess not <laughs> all right worth a shot <laughs> hey this one's got the sunroof 2005 too oh then here is a something else <laughs> a lot of these air fresheners that i found everywhere it's an avenger these are kind of, wow, they're kind of crappy inside here. Ooh, now there's something interesting. Let's see, what do we have here? I can't really identify, is this a New Yorker? Oh, Fifth Avenue. Chrysler, oh, okay, New Yorker Fifth Avenue, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this. The key and everything, and it's got one of those little Penta stars too. Wow. You know, I wonder if I can take this one too, just for history, more than anything else. Now, Wow, this is stronger than I thought. I thought this would just snap off, and then it doesn't. So, you know, I do want to spend some time talking about Chrysler in general. I know a lot of my videos, they focus on the, the Lincoln and the, the GM stuff and the Ford stuff and everything else, but Chrysler is my, my third pick. So if I had to pick, like, you know, my, my top, you know, my top kind of three makes, uh yeah it would probably be ford with the lincoln and then number two would be gm with the cadillac and then the buick and then yeah i would pick chrysler i like chrysler just a lot of times they get a, a bad rep for being you know unreliable and falling apart in this but i don't know well it might be all true and you know if it wasn't for all this glass i would love to sit in this seat look look how comfy these seats are holy crap and look how good they are now the headliner is really sagging to the floor hey david check this out 
Look how nice the back seats are. Especially now there's a ton of glass, so I would caution you. Okay, what do you what do you think oh about these God, seats? Those are amazing. Look on that side. And now there's still glass that I wouldn't, but I was just telling my viewers, it's like I would love to sit in this. Now the headliner is coming apart, but then look how nice these are. If somebody has, I tell you, whoever is watching, if you guys have one of these Chrysler New Yorkers and you need a back seat. Come to Summit, Illinois, pick and pull. This is going to be the nicest rear seat. You're going to have to obviously get rid of all this crap. But none of it is, I don't think none of it. Nothing is shot back. Yeah, yeah, of course. But look, they're not torn. They are beautiful. The front seats look okay as well. Yeah, look, cup holders and everything. Look, brand new. I am amazed. And all these, all these badges, I'm going to try to take. Well, careful. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to take this one without breaking it, but there's one in the back that says Fifth Avenue. Yeah. And then look at this Mark Cross, this quarter top. It's in great shape too. Wow. I think Mark Cross was the people that did the design on the uh, interior, the interior of these, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know. I can't speak on that, but <laughs> I trust. I remember seeing uh, old uh, uh. videos on, or not videos, but. Uh, for sure on these cars. Oh wow, the keys still in there. Keys still in there, the little uh Pentastar thing yeah. that got that you pull apart. Yeah, it's in great shape. Well like... uh, oh, and as I try to remove it, which I hope I will I will do without breaking, it's actually coming off quite easily. I think the glue behind it. Now uh, I would hope to not to break it. You know, I'm gonna put the camera oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera down and Get the flaws. All right, a little movie making magic, and I'm a proud New Yorker. So this one I'm not gonna try and get. It's really, really tiny and brittle, and and yeah, I'm amazed how good of a condition this car is. Just you know, just looking at it and all the the fanciness and the buttons and everything. Yep. So also what I was saying is, you know, as far as Chrysler's uh, getting a bad rap, well, you know, part of it is probably true. But the other part of it is just, I'm sure, if you take care of the car and if you maybe, you know, don't treat it like, oh, you know, these things are bulletproof, you don't need any maintenance, you don't need any this, any that. Yeah, just take care of it. And can it break, you know, more than, let's say, a Ford or a Chevy or a GM? Yes, yes, it can. But at, but at, the, same, but at the same time, I love them. What's up? I see it came off. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm yet to to find one. I wonder, I wonder if this one, oh, <laughs> it got away from, oh, it got away from me again. I wonder how difficult this one will be. Is it, I've already got, it's okay, don't, don't, don't go crazy on breaking your fingers. I'm gonna try it with a screwdriver and then if it, if it starts coming off, then I'll, uh, I had to do the dental floss trick on my wife's Lexus because it came with a, uh, it came with some sort of a badge, some sort of a badge on it that we didn't know what it was. Okay, just some aftermarket stuff. Yeah. All right, oh, it seems to be coming off. Okay. It's a lot easier when you're not afraid of damaging the yeah. car or technically the badge. So how the heck am I gonna carry this thing? I'm gonna like stab myself with this. You see, Red Bull is not the only thing that gives us wings. Yes. Chrysler does it too. Now yes, you guys are watching it, are probably noticing that I am damaging it a little bit, but there comes a time in man's life where if I damage it a little, just but do it quickly, it's worth it to me, rather than trying to stand here for a half hour. All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time carrying this in my pocket. Well, your, your assistant will carry it. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. I will. Actually, if you want it, you can have it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a good chance they might not actually charge us for it. Oh, and look at this. I didn't realize. Look, it actually got imprinted a little Pentastar from, oh, from nice. there. I think probably from the back. Yeah. This. Well, let me see. Now, while we are on the, the badge rate here. Now, I do love the Chrysler's current 
insignia the, the wings that they have on now yeah. i do like that there you go see i'll, I'll take i'll take this one <laughs> what the heck am i gonna even do with this i don't know sometimes I see you got quite i see you got quite the little collection already. yes all right well let's look at this concord and then we can move a little bit further whoa a little bit further down oh this is an lhs oh lhs okay i stand corrected rightfully so yeah oh yeah no oh, it even says right there so lhs oh it looks nice it does look like a like a longer uh 300 of the era you know less sporty more kind of longer and a bit more probably luxurious on the ride i did i think i did find an lhs sitting at some it wasn't really an abandoned lot but it was more like one of those like repair mom and pop shops i think i sat in one and it was comfy i can attest to that these seats are comfy and they are perforated although they are not heated in the back i always love those gauges let me see if i can walk around and capture some of this goodness lhs sounds like a drug though hey are you on lhs we got a prescription for an lhs yeah i always love these gauges and even now you know chrysler does some some good looking gauges i'll, I'll give them that and then the clock although it's surprised it doesn't say chrysler on the clock they missed an opportunity there yeah but like these longer more gracious looking things they are nice and they look nice i like how this front looks too we got the fog lights and everything so all right we'll keep it going all right so there you go it's exactly what i was talking about just a little bit further down the row you got a chrysler 300 m from that same era uh there it is the old style we got 2002 mm, yeah like the interior is almost the same like you can like if you don't know if you're just looking at this you might have actually confused the two got the same type of climate control got the same type of seat control look at this got a uh, cd player right there only with four presets so that's that's weird but i know a lot of manufacturers back then were doing it got that same clock um the back yeah looks like a lot of the back seat is out what is this somebody's notebook 1794 start third week 1400 calories i found somebody's diary as far as cheese and how many calories everything else wow look at that it smells awful in here so don't want to do that oh. and then speaking of the, the the 300 there's a magnum pretty rare these days to find one like this okay we got nothing in here well wow. look we got a I don't know if it is from the Magnum, but <laughs> too bad it doesn't have the wood component. Oh, look at this. I never knew that. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, there's a, I found an airbag. I hope it doesn't pop off in my face. Three hundred, all demolished, all of it. Let's see, Let's see, Good. badges. All right, guys. I think that's probably the end of the row here for me. I spent a ton of time here, probably two hours, just walking around. and yeah i think i'm uh i think i'm way too exhausted to go into the suv section so i know i promised you in a previous segment some suvs i'm gonna have to eat my words because i'm not gonna go all the way back to that corner to look at stuff that i don't feel you know too passionate about so on this note 
we'll see you everybody and i hope you enjoyed this series take care